5. We begin with first alert weather. Rains pushed through southern New Mexico so intense, the fish, this fish, actually ended up in a tree. And as you can see, the Black River is running very high near Carlsbad. Roads are washed out. Some people are being evacuated, and there is a threat of more flooding this weekend. We have team coverage from across the state. Reporter Matt Howerton is covering potential flooding near Artesia. But first, let's get a look at rain totals from First Alert meteorologist Eric Green. Yeah, Royal, as expected, Odile's remnants brought some big time rains to far southern New Mexico. Let's get a look at some of the latest numbers here. Big winner on the map is Chaparral, New Mexico. Just to the south and east of Carlsbad, we had over six inches in the rain gauge. Around Carlsbad, widespread reports in the four and five inch range. We have Debbing with four and a quarter, Mogollon in the Gila with almost four inches. And the further you head north, the rainfall totals are not quite as impressive, but two and a half inches since Wednesday in the Boscadilla. Apache is still a pretty impressive total. Now we have parts of New Mexico where flood concerns do continue right on through the upcoming weekend. Active skies, well, they'll be sticking around. I'll be back to talk about well, who faces that significant flooding threat and where that flooding threat continues for the next couple of days. Royal. Okay, thanks, Eric. Overnight flood waters wiped out roads in parts of southern New Mexico. In Carlsbad, rain fell throughout the night there. Now, signs kept drivers at bay, and state police was watching trouble spots there. It also rained all day in Eddy County. Carlsbad Caverns is closed because roads in and out of the National Park are impassable. The caves have gotten five inches of rain since Wednesday. In Deming, drivers crept along wet roads and dodged some big puddles there. People did not, though, let the weather stop them from their day-to-day -day activities. Now, that city got more than four inches of rain in the last three days. In neighboring Doña Ana County, Las Cruces got more than two inches of rain. That since Wednesday. Downpours flooded roads and fields near the Mexico border. County officials are warning people to be cautious about companies offering low cost cleanup services because they could be scammers. In Artesia, more than 30 people are evacuated. An RV park south of Artesia near 285 and 381 was evacuated. Emergency crews did four swift water rescues there. KOET Action 7 News reporter Matt Howerton has been following this storm for us since Wednesday and joins us from Artesia. Royal, this is the road that leads to that RV park. Totally impassable thanks to floodwaters. Just take a look at those three cars over there. Almost totally submerged. Residents in the park are homeless for the next 24 hours until these waters recede. It's sad that something like this has to happen. For residents in an Artesia RV park, this is the only way home. A road that's been overtaken by floodwaters, something three cars here tested last night and failed. When floodwaters came, Eddy County Sheriff's deputies told residents like Dennis Bratcher to evacuate. Everybody got out that could get out, just packed a bag, grabbed the cat, and away we went. In all, over 30 people from the park were moved out. Many of them, like Deborah Simmons Amari, came here to the Eddy County Fairgrounds for refuge. It makes me nauseous right now. It truly does. I'm just, I'm so stressed about this. What stings the most? This isn't the first time this has happened. Floodwaters overtook the RV park last year. Many residents explained the nightmare they've had to live twice to Governor Susana Martinez, who visited the area today. We've got to make sure that um, people can continue to get to their houses. Uh, in a safe way, even when we do have a lot of rain. Until waters recede, the Red Cross will be setting up a shelter for the residents at Artesia High. But for many, this isn't their first time being homeless. Deborah says resolve is strong. We're tough. We'll do it. Somehow we will get through this. Governor Martinez told residents she would be working with local officials to keep something like this from happening a third time. In Artesia, Matt Howerton, KOAT, Action 7 News. Well, thankfully, the Eddy County Sheriff's deputies say the homes in the RV park face little damage. Governor Martinez, as you just saw, toured Artesia today and other parts of Eddy County. On Wednesday, the governor signed a disaster declaration so state funds could be available to fix flood damage. I've seen an amazing. Um, um, collaboration of the Emergency Operations Center with the locals. Uh, we've got to keep that up hour after hour after hour. Well, the governor says the struggles people are going through in southern New Mexico are being felt statewide. Action